Don't ask me about the signal stick. Y'all clicked on an Amazon box. They don't sell signal sticks on Amazon. We're going to talk about the top 10 ham radio antennas that you can get for your HT on Amazon. Why Amazon? Because it's the easiest place to shop in the world. Stuff comes tomorrow morning when you order it today. It's, it's crazy. I don't need antennas that fast, but I need antennas that fast. Let's take a look. Oh, like the shirt? You can get these on TemporarilyOffline.com. A lot of these antennas I have done reviews on, on the channel before, and they actually work really well. Some of these I think are just fun. Some of these don't really work all that well, but are still like totally fun. The first one, I, I, I can't do a fun antenna review on Amazon without mentioning the tactical folding Abri antenna that's 40 nine inches long, 48.8 to be pedantic. This thing actually works out to be kind of like an NFED half wave or maybe even a little bit bigger than that by design. And it works really well. I took it out to the desert in Arizona and put it up against a signal stick and a Nagoya N771 antenna. All of them did well. This one, obviously, more wire in the air, did better. This isn't just a fancy dummy load with a resistor pack at the bottom to make your radio happy. It's a working antenna, folds up nice and small, but now that I've got the Abri folding tactical antenna out of the way, they're updated. There's new versions. There's new designs. Check this out. Camo? This looks like, this does not look like an antenna at all. This one's designed to roll up and not rolled up, roll up and not fold up. And uh, these are basically just tape measures inside with some fancy heat shrink tubing on the outside. And it, you know, this looks pretty cool. You'd be, the, you'd be the sexiest ham at the ham fest with this antenna. Speaking of sexiest ham at the ham fest, my buddy, uh, Atlas with his pet Chris showed up to Huntsville Ham Fest and brought this antenna over here on his clear VRN76 from Vero, the Prison Edition. So the Prison Edition radio gets the Prison Edition antenna with the clear base. And I believe that this part here is flexible. It's on order. I'll let you know when I get it. Do that one last or second to last. These are pretty cool. There's a couple of different versions of this that I'm going to show you. This one is rubber and kind of springy. It's literally a spring inside there, which is how they can make it so short. This is taller than most of your short stubby antennas. I got some shorter ones coming up and then I've got even shorter ones than that coming up. But these are pretty cool because you can kind of like bang into things with this and it's not going to damage your antenna too much and it's not going to hurt you too much to get hit with it. Where are these things good for? These are fantastic for being around a ham fest where you don't need a lot of coverage because everybody's nearby going into a park with your friends, driving in tandem, in, in caravan style, convoy, convoy. Mercy sakes alive, looks like we got us a convoy. Or if you're just trying to connect to your local hotspot inside of your house, there's no reason to carry around a 19 inch antenna when you can get by with, you know, half a watt and down the hall is just fine. These are pretty cool for that. I told you they were going to get smaller and they're going to get even cooler. This is orange. I have not found this in SMA male, only in SMA female, but I do have another one that is from Diamond that is SMA male. So depending on which version you, of the radio you have, which version of the antenna you have, you need to get the right version of connectors to mate up with each other. By the way, while we're here, see these coupon things? Make sure you keep your eyeballs open for these kind of things because it'll save you 5%. And then this one here says save 7% at checkout and then 9% on two and 11% on five. And who doesn't need five sets of two SMA stubby male antennas? But back to the orange one. This orange is super cool. Black radio, orange highlights. This would look good on the BTEC UV Pro, on the Yezu FT, I think it's the two, three, and four five that are all black and orange. It'll look good on the Radiotity GA5WB radio. It'll look good on a lot of different radios and they actually do work really well. This is the antenna that I had on my, I still have it, on my VR N76 radio. And I used this when we were doing our convoy for the Ridgeway Poda trip with the YouTubers bunch. And I also did it at the Huntsville Ham Fest. And I, I don't think I missed anything worth worrying about. And there was actually a situation where I had to be the relay from a truck that was farther back in the pack to the truck that was in the front of the pack. So I could hear and the person in front of me who needed to hear couldn't hear. So it works. Is it is it great? Is it the best antenna ever? No, but does it work? Yes. And what you have is a little inductor at the bottom and then a little coil of wire on top. So it's a coil loaded vertical for two meters. But the cool part about this one here is that it's uh, it's not going to give way when you're when you're using it and it works out pretty well. Fun stuff. That's what this is all about. This is about fun. If you're a cranky old sad ham, get out of here. But leave a comment down below telling me how cranky you are first and how you don't like antennas and 
fun is not the name of the game here. Because why did you click on this video that said top 10 fun antennas on Amazon, no less. So not only do we have the camo roll up tape measure antenna and we have the tactical black fold up antenna, but now we've got these things here that have these nylon covers on the outside of them. And this is still a tape measure type antenna and it's got the coil at the base, but looks pretty cool. They call this camouflage, but this isn't really camouflage. This, I mean, this is almost a tartan. I mean, come on, people. Be aware of your roots, right? This one here I reviewed a while back, and it is a pretty slick-looking antenna. And all the hams at the, at the ham club meetup were jealous that I had this, but I didn't really think that it worked out all that well. And uh, Kevin Laughlin did a review on this, and he didn't think it worked out all that well either. I mean, it does it does work because pretty much anything works as an antenna on an HT because they're very resilient. But it's still fun. And I'll tell you what, when I got it, I got 20 bucks worth of fun out of it. So, you know, I, I played with it. I looked at it. I got some recognition at the club, and then I tossed it in the trash can. Otherwise, I'd show it to you again. But 20 bucks? I mean, how long does it take you to, to earn back 20 bucks worth of fun? You know, if you if you played with this for two hours, which I did, fantastic. If you play with it for five minutes, is that is your time is your time that valuable? Anyway, fun is the name of the game here. If those other stubby antennas weren't stubby enough for you, this one is even stubbier than stubby. I don't have a measurement on this, but it's a oh, is it a tribander? It says dual band, but it looks I can't get a better I can't get a bigger zoom for you. That was the zoom. Um, it looks like it says 144, 430, something else, but I can't read it. And you know, I've got it. I've got a tiny one. So if you want tinier than tiny, then this is the one for you. Actually, I have a project coming up that this antenna would be perfect for. And Diamond, if you're watching, upload a higher resolution image so we can we can zoom in and see it. This one here, I did an antenna shootout on. I still have this one. It comes and goes on Amazon right now. It's saying there's only nine left in stock. And the one that I have is made by a different company. And the one I tried to find for you, made by a Brie, of course, is out of stock. And then this one is the one that's in stock. And and Wish Ring didn't invent this antenna and neither did a Brie. This is an old style. I think MFJ has one of these too. But this, this short whip here pops off and then this longer whip goes on. And so you can see it now with the longer whip on, but this longer whip has a trick up its sleeve and they don't show you, a, oh, there it is. They do show you a picture. This top section here is expandable. So you can actually take the, on mine, you can take this short whip and put it on top. So you have kind of a regular sized, like this is your regular size rubber duck. Oh, breaker one nine, this here's a rubber duck. And then you add this for some extended range. And then when you really need to get your signal out, you can add the full thing and extend the whip too. So this is pretty cool. And it worked well in my, in my test results. It worked as well as you'd expect it to for $14. But again, fun. Have I said fun enough? As a, as an added bonus, I got these not that long ago. Wow. I've, I've got a couple of these because I always get them for different radios because I like to swap out antennas. You can get these in SMA male and SMA female. I'll leave links down below for the different flavors of these guys. But this will convert your HT and it looks pretty seamless when it does it. It'll convert it over into BNC for you so that you can use a wide variety of BNC antennas as well. And then what I do is I have one of these antenna mounts here. I need another one. And then what I do is I have one of these antenna mounts here and this goes over the windshield in the car. So no drilling required, perfect for rental cars. If you have one of those new trucks like mine that's not a mag mount, then you can get this instead of trying to stick a mag mount to the roof. And it's got a BNC connector on one end and a BNC connector on the other end. And it's designed to go into the window channel and any rain that hits, it's gonna run down here and drop through the little slot over here instead of going into your car. If you have a mag mount antenna on your roof and you run the coax to the window, the water just runs down the coax and into the floorboard of your truck. So that's not a good thing. And then I can take the BNC antenna off of this and stick it onto my radio and then go out in the field. And then when I get back in the car, I can put it back on and it, it works out pretty well. And then if you do have one of those magnetic vehicles, one of those relics from years gone by, this this looked pretty cool. I've seen one of these before, but I've never actually tried it. So if you've tried one of these before and you've had good results with it, let me know. I, I just think it looks pretty cool. I mean, it really looks more like you're trying to talk to aliens like everybody always asks you about. So you you know might as well look the part, right? And then as a bonus, this one here caught my eye while I was doing some research for this video. This one works on 29, which is 10 meters, 50, which is 6 meters, 144, and 430, which are four very popular bands that technicians can get access to. And this would be a fantastic way to get set up. So this one's in my cart on order. I'm going to do a test on this 
on a video in the future. So be sure you're subscribed for when that comes out. Anyway, I thought this would just be a fantastic way to share some antennas with you. Like I said, some of these I have played with. I'll leave links in the description down below for the videos where I did the, the shootout or the review of the antenna. Of course, these go over to Amazon and there's an affiliate thing there that helps helps me eat, frankly, because this is my job now. And don't forget about the t-shirts over at temporarilyoffline.com. Hope this video was fun for you. If you want to see more videos like this where we look at fun products on Amazon, then let me know in the comments down below. And if you think that fun should never, never, ever be involved in ham radio, then I definitely want to hear from you because I love having my comment section filled up by grumpy old farts that just complain all the time. In the meantime, there's a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.